My first impression when Guy and I were sitting down in the shop and we were talking about his past and everything like that, is, I thought it was funny because he was so different. I could never imagine him being a bank robber, like kicking in doors and slinging dope on corners and stuff because he just seemed like such a different person. I started getting in trouble at 13. We would go around and like food markets and things like that. We would actually steal fruits and different things like that to take home to my mama. And we figured stealing when getting it. And we all still start selling drugs together to support each other. They labeled me the youngest drug lord in the city of St. Louis and sent me to the penitentiary for five years. When I got out, I actually had a woman and she got pregnant with my first child. My checks come in, they garnishing them and this and that. So I say, okay, I sell dope, they can't garnish it. And then I figured out selling dope wasn't for me either. So I started robbing banks, which was a quick turnover and money came quicker. But that didn't last long either because in 97, I went to the federal penitentiary for seven bank robberies. The JLT program is essentially a cultural reorientation program where guys coming in, most of which have uh, convictions of some type, come in and learn everything from financial management to vocational training to help them get back into the workforce to creating relationships with other guys, uh, peers, and lateral relationships where they can like work together through the struggles they have every day and not just be kind of like cast out into the world after they get out of prison, maybe having no job experience or no network of support. Me, myself, I think Everybody have a right for a second chance, regardless of how bad you is or how deep in the gutter you done been. And Rob has seen that. I just saw that he liked to work, and I saw the same thing in me, and I just knew that this is someone I could I could work with. Thank you. All right, yeah. Rob actually inspired me to keep going forward to see a guy younger than me and not go down them channels I went. And I was like, hmm, you don't see many of these people. I think Guy has done so much hard work and staying away from old habits. And even in, he still lives where he used to live in the neighborhood and he's become a light in his neighborhood, leading guys away from the old life when they're trying to pull him back in. He's like, no, nah, I found the other thing. I found a full-time job where I have dignity and respect and responsibility. He's like, and that's the right way to go, not the way that you're going. And because he's older and because he has credibility from his time in the street, people listen to him out there. A lot of people tell me I got a glow around my head. I, I don't see it, you know, but I had learned to be humble. I had learned patience. I learned humility, and that's what the second time going to jail gave me. <laughs> the guy is a charmer, for sure. He just has an incredible smile. He's just kind of got like a radiance that he carries around. He just is very... He draws people in when they're around. He's very engaging and kind and easy to interact with, and, and he listens. You can tell he's listening to you when you speak and cares about what you say, which is unique across the board for all people, I think, and it's very, 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 very engaging. When people been in and out of prison, what they do, they get a concept of, you can't tell me nothing, or they got an authority complex and different things like that. So you got to be blunt with them. You got to man up. It's time for you to man up. If you don't want to man up, quit wasting time. Because I come from where you come from, and the excuses you giving me, I gave to somebody else, and that land me back in the penitentiary. So now I take all my excuses and put them in my pocket, because excuse is nothing. If I'm broken, and this furniture broken, we can work on each other, you know? I can put you back together and make you beautiful just like I'm trying to put myself back to make me beautiful. You know what I'm saying? So I take that theory and say, okay, this broken furniture is like the broken guys and like my broken life. So if I can participate and get into this furniture and help this furniture get a second life, I can also help ex-con, people that ain't even ex-cons as well. And when they walk out of here, they so happy. They love they self again. They ain't going through the mess and none of this crazy stuff just like the furniture because it got a right to go back home versus to the strap yard because they could have threw me in the gutter a long time ago, but they didn't because a lot of time my boss, he, he'll say, throw that away. I'd be like, boss, man, we can do something with this. And I got an ugly table back there. I call it the ugly table. So when I get to, to the top of my peak, that ugly table going to be beautiful too. <laughs>